Welcome back to the channel. This is Wheat Straw Inc. and I am Wheat Straw. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Let's get started. You remember your old sergeant, don't you? Let's get you out of here. Okay, listen up, y'all. Video games often have an earned reputation of being misogynistic, racist, homophobic, etc. I'm looking at you, Square Enix. Final Fantasy being a repeat offender in terms of its sexist and racist tropes in characters like Fran, Saz, Cotsroy, and Barrett. Further, video games aren't always the most, shall we say, body positive space when we look across the landscape and mythical man meat like the ghost of Sparta or the super sexualized Lara Croft, who sometimes looks more like she belongs in the WAP video than she does on the sticks. All that being said, video games have come a long way and many developers like Naughty Dog, Remedy, Sucker Punch are making strides toward more and better representation in their games. Which reminds me, it's time for the disclaimer. The discussion, rankings, and conclusion of this video are indisputable facts. If you disagree or have thoughts and feelings different from those presented in this video, you are wrong. I suggest you shut down your computer after you hit the subscribe and like button. Walk to the nearest restroom and bang your head against the sink until you lose consciousness. After you're awake, return to your computer and power up. If you continue having the same incorrect thoughts and feelings, sh shut down the computer again, return to said restroom, and repeat head banging. Do this until you arrive at the proper conclusion and finish this video. Now that that is out of the way, in recognition of the times we are in, and in appreciation for publisher efforts to create inclusive gaming experiences, Wheat Straw Inc. brings to you the top 10 black characters in video games. Number 10. Eddie Gordo of Tekken 3, the best Tekken in the series in case you were wondering. While I appreciate Eddie's backstory as an Afro-Brazilian with a unique fighting style and that beautiful brown skin, I hate Eddie as an opponent in the game. His lurchy, awkward capoeira swing back and forth would completely throw off any sense of rhythm to the round. Unless you used Eddie a lot or put dozens of quarters into fighting against him, he could be an impossible opponent, which often made him the favorite son of button masters. Still, Eddie easily makes this list as its sole fighting game in Duck Team. Number nine. Nadine Ross. While it's problematic that Nadine is voiced by a white voice actress named Laura Bailey, Nadine's strength and intelligence really shine in Uncharted Lost Legacy, where she and Chloe Frazier go after the rebel leader Asav. What makes Nadine special is that she provides the muscle in Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, without developers placing her into the stereotype of the angry black woman. Along with cunning, Nadine is smart and her character has depth, a detail often missing in traditional depictions of black women in gaming. I'm looking at you, Shiva. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? Number 8. Oh, you're my new hero. Alex Vance of Half-Life. And most recently, Half-Life Alex, a rare reason to own VR. Alex is a mainstay of the Half-Life franchise where she shows off her engineering skills in support of Gordon Freeman. Like Nadine, Alex is intelligent but relies on her wits more than her physical acumen. I'm a big fan of her stint in VR simply because it allows us to embody her as the player and imagine ourselves as Alex Vance. Truth be told, the world would be a much better place if each of us imagined ourselves in the shoes of black women. Number 7 Augustus Cole Okay, I have to admit, the Cole train graces this list because I'm a big fan of Gears of War. Gears of War is a perfect mix of intense pacing, bullet sponge enemies, and absolute heartbreak as the world of Sarah is ravaged by the war with the Locust Horde and Lambent. The games are too good for Cole not to be included on this list. I'm going to choose to forget that he sometimes speaks in rhymes like G.I. Joe's Roadblock. I will also forget that he plays a ubiquitous black star athlete. Even still, he gives a great speech in Gears of War 2. Number 6. 
Sergeant James Heller, a prototype 2. Another confession. I've never actually played this game. It looks fun, though. And I appreciate the black male lead during a time where big publishers were even more skittish to include black leads in big budget games. Or any games, for that matter. From what I'm told, the former Marine and black-like being is every bit as awesome as Alex Mercer in the original prototype. Unfortunately for Heller and the prototype games, the open world hero, anti-hero, single player action game mantle was taken by Cole and Infamous just two weeks prior to prototype's launch. Not Honorable mention. More. That's what we can do here today. It ends Feels like a good place for an honorable mention, Commander Shepard of Mass Effect. Yes, that's right, Shepard is black. Take a look at the base model character we see in the trailers. He's definitely not white. He could be South American, maybe. Either way, I think the intent was for him to be racially ambiguous, whatever that means. For those of us who occupy our space as black folks or people of color, we know that there's no such thing as racial ambiguity. Sure, we would all love to choose how to identify racially, unfortunately. Teachers, bankers, business people, and police make that decision for us. Welcome to the list, Commander. Number 5 Drebin893 of Metal Gear Solid Guns of the Patriots. Drebin mixes Cisco and John Legend in a video game character. The launderer goes from odd to likable in what has to be the weirdest Metal Gear in the franchise. No, I didn't forget about Metal Gear Survive. Metal Gear Survive is not a real Metal Gear game, therefore I cannot say it's the weirdest even though it would be if it were an actual Metal Gear game. But I digress. Throughout Guns of the Patriots, Drebin 893 becomes an ally of sorts if there is such a thing in that dystopian future. He makes this list because Konami is somewhat notorious for some of the sexist tropes used in their games. Amazingly, Drebin 893 is not the only Konami character to make this list. Number 4 The Soldier of Fortune. See what I did there? Fortune of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, my favorite Metal Gear, is the haunted soul walking the big shell looking for someone who can finally end her life. Of all the tortured backstories throughout the Metal Gear franchise, I thought hers was the most interesting. While her character modeling sometimes looks more like a white woman shaded darker than an actual person of color, Konami pushed boundaries further suggesting a deeper romantic connection between Fortune and Vamp. Make no mistake, Fortune is hypersexualized like most of the women of Metal Gear as she struts around in a bathing suit and trench coat armed with a massive railgun. Still, she's badass and deserving of being on this list. I respect the effort. Number 3 Lenny Summers of Red Dead Redemption 2 RDR2 is perhaps one of the best games I've ever played. Arthur's story is epic. The Vanderlyn gang is a complex band of scoundrels and murderers and family bent on keeping the dying traditions of the Wild West alive. And when I first ran into Lenny, I knew Red Dead Redemption 2 had entered my top 10 video games of all time. Summers, a newer member of the Vanderlyn gang, was right there with all his white counterparts, contributing to the group, living that Wild West lifestyle. The best part is that Rockstar Games didn't even try to whitewash America's history of slavery, segregation, and racism in the telling of Lenny's story. For most games, the subject of racism is avoided like COVID-19. In plot-relevant ways, Rockstar addressed the conundrum of living as a black man among white people in the post-Reconstruction era. To be fair, Rockstar has earned the clout to do whatever they want. Bravo. Number 2 Mr. Sandman. Come on, he's got to be high on this list, right? I have no idea what his backstory is. I'm not even sure if he has one. I refuse to do that research. I simply imagine him as my crazy Uncle Jesse, who one day decided to come off the couch and fight Little Mac after seeing him in a match on pay-per-view. Uncle's having none of that white boy fighting on TV. Look at Mr. Sandman's face. He's the scariest character on Punch-Out, aside from that pink guy who has a drinking problem. Sandman reminds me of Thanksgiving with my family, so he rests at number two. Number one. Clementine, the breakout star of the Walking Dead video games. From her short time with Lee to her paying it forward with AJ, Clementine grows up right before our very eyes. 
She is a fighter and nurturer and loyal no matter what choices you make as the player. Never once is she portrayed as the angry black woman or seen as stereotypically aggressive and oversexed. Her signature baseball cap with curly locks hide a fearless demeanor even in the zombie apocalypse. Like many black women, Clementine grows into her role as a soldier and steps up to save the group from itself. For that reason, Clementine tops this list of top 10 black characters in video games. For more videos like this one, please like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave comments below to let me know how much you hate or love this list.